So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a vector graphic in Illustrator and turn it into an embroidered look like this for DTF transfers. What we're going to be using is this realistic embroidery plugin. There's the link in my bio and I am an affiliate, but it's only $15. But we're gonna start over here in Illustrator first. So what you wanna do to set this file up is have all of your colors on a separate layer that you're going to use in the design like I've done here. And I'm just going to select all and copy. And then in Photoshop, you can actually do a new document here. And we're gonna switch that to inches and 300. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little extra around here because the embroidery kind of expands out a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and take this to 10 inches and I'll take this dimension up to 11 and hit create. I'm gonna double click this background so that I can turn that off and just get this grid here. And now I'm going to paste, but I'm gonna paste as layers. That'll bring all of these in, in this group here. We're just gonna go ahead and it's command E, but you're going to just merge these individual groups here one at a time. So I'm just going to hit Command E, Command E on all of these. And then I'm just going to select all of them and pull these outside of the group. I don't need this group anymore. So now I just have my individual colors right here in Photoshop. Okay, I'm going to start with the navy here. I'm just going to bring it to the top. And I'm going to click this first module here, which is border. Make sure nothing else is selected. And you're just going to click on border. And you're going to see it start doing its work. You're going to see all this layer action going on. You're going to see a file up here. And you just wait until it's done. And when it's done, you're going to see that it, it sort of just has kind of a red outline. Just like that. Now I'm going to pick small here on the embroidery fill type, and I'm going to click on fill area. And once again, you're gonna see it work, and then it's going to stop, but it's not done yet. You have to keep clicking this over and over again until it tells you that it's all full, and you can kind of see it work. So just keep clicking until you get the message box appear right there. The area is full, proceed to render. You hit OK, and then you click Render. OK, when you see it turn blue like this, it is done with that color. Now they all turn blue like this no matter what color you start with, and that's actually going to be okay. Your original layer is still right down here. It's not selected, but what I'm going to do is click and then shift click this whole area here, and then once again do that merge layers or command E just to get one nice layer out of it. Now I'm going to command click right on the output layer here and go down and make an adjustment layer, black and white. Now I'm going to click back on this rendered layer again and add a levels control. So now I've got three different layers going on here. And the fourth one is my original art that I started with. The best thing to do is to go ahead and color pick this layer right here. And then if I double click, I want to take this color that's right here, this uh, hex color, and I'm going to copy that. That's going to help me when I hide this and go to my rendered layer. And I'm going to select on the black and white layer. And you see in the properties menu down here, 
we can click on tent and then click this chip. And this is down here is where I'm going to paste that navy color. And you see it right there. Now this still looks light in the background and that's okay because when we go to the levels control, that's when we'll be able to lighten and darken this navy. So let's get in here really close. You can kind of see what's going on here. It's going to pull this. If you go too dark, then you can't see the stitches. So you're going to have to remember that. And then if we add this navy from behind, it sort of fills that original navy. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to select all four of these and create a new group. And I'll call that navy. And I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of all of this and hide it and bring up my next color. So with each one of these additional colors, you do the same thing. Now for the white, you don't really need to add a tint, just lighten it. But once it's all said and done, you're going to have a file that looks like this. And as you can see, it's really detailed and it has a realistic feel of what embroidery looks like. And with hiding any backgrounds you have, you can export this as a PNG file and send it to your DTF printer or print it yourself.